It is Thursday, January 30th. Is it Black Thursday? No. I've been asking that question all day. What do you reckon? We can have Black Friday. Why not Black Thursday? Anyway, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Nice to have everybody on board this morning, and believe me, absolutely elated. I really, really am. Because good friends to Galaxy coming out of Nashville is, of course, the Hammond Brothers, and yes, they're joining us this morning. Tell you what, let me do this. Hi, this is the legendary Hammond Brothers on Galaxy 107. You know, I wonder if they remember that. I'm going to ask them very, very shortly, but first of all, here at Galaxy as it never rains in Southern California. I love this track, guys. Well, thank you, Rick. Absolutely love this track. Um, I, I was just in the bank a wee while ago, and I'm standing, mm -hmm. in, standing in line, you know, waiting to get served and this little old lady in front of me she must have been about 85 years of age she turns to me and goes and, and waves her little passbook at me and she's looking at me and she goes can you check my balance so i pushed her over <laughs> okay that was nice yeah moved me up one spot that made you feel good yeah it does it always does <laughs> so i'm sociable like that <laughs> yeah how many, how many watching today, Grant? Uh, I'm not sure how many are online watching at the moment, uh, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll let you know how many are online listening in a wee wee while. How many countries? North. How many worldwide will we'll see this, Grant? Yeah. Um, there's 294 uh, countries logged in right now. Wow, that's great. 294 countries? Yeah, that's a lot of people. And two of them are watching. <laughs> and only one of them are watching. One's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you might find there's a few more than just one. Nobody's got well, we <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, we've still got about two minutes. What are you doing, Graham? You're excited. That's what it is. Yeah. Nice to have everybody joining us again this morning here at Galaxy. And I've got to say Happy New Year to everybody that I haven't already said Happy New Year to. Nice to have you guys back again. Today, I'm joined by good friends the Galaxy and absolute legends. Yeah, I'm talking about the Hammond Brothers, Dale and Gale. Um, Ray Roper's on board, Cheryl Arnold's on board, Sean Simpson's on board. We have more than one. All right. All right. Yay. Hey, Grant, I love that t shirt you're wearing, man. It looks sharp. Me too, man. I love, I love those guys too on the front. Yeah, believe me, I only promote the best. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. It's good. Thank you, man. <laughs> I do, uh, and believe me, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to wear this. Yeah, but, uh, do, do you know, you know what, Grant? More and more people, uh, we'll get more comments from people everywhere we go about your radio station and the show that you're doing. You and Barbara, and we love, and we love it. Doing you, your show, and Barbara's show. I love, we love it. We love 107, and we love you guys. And it's a privilege and an honor to be here today. Well, let, let me reciprocate, because we're big fans of yours, we love you guys, and of course you know that you're family, so uh, you never know, I, I might be able to tell you a joke about pushing old ladies around. You can yeah. tell us any kind of joke you like, can we be kissing cousins with Barbara? Yes, we want to be kissing cousins with Barbara, don't we? Yes. Barbara, we're kissing cousins. Okay, <laughs> alright, that's a deal. Okay, well, <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna be that, then I'm gonna stand back and take photos. Yeah, I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go live to
right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm elated to be joined by a good friend and believe me, uh, these guys are in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, alright? These guys are not beginners, they're good friends to Galaxy though. Yes, Dale and Gale, fraternal twins. Yes, they are, they really, really are. The Hammond Brothers. Hey, you guys, welcome back. Hey, Grant. Good to see you again. You're looking, you're looking great as always. Always oh, looking great. It's good to see you and Barbara both. You know, um, as we were saying earlier on, my friend, uh, well, I'm a sharp dresser. I kind of like this T-shirt, i got to be honest. I love that. I love the song. Oh, I love the song. Like, oh, love the song. like a train. Like a train, baby. Where and, you going, come on. Uh, well, i got to let you guys know that it's still one of your highest rated, most requested songs is Like a Train. And besides, i got the cup as well. No kidding. All right. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic, man. I, I got to thank Shelby for uh, sending the uh, swag. Uh, but guys, I got to be honest, I'm a little upset with Shelby at the same time. What did he do, Grant? What did he do this time? I, I'm, I feel like a bridesmaid left at the altar, you know what I mean? He was all there, ready to go for an interview, and then right at the last minute he goes, Oh, no, I'm too scared. <laughs> you know what it is, Grant? Shelby doesn't like publicity. He just does. He's, he, he wants to be in the back. He's all fair. He works better in the background than he does out front. Yeah, well, the next time I'm going to ask him, will he kiss me first before he, um, uh, me? <laughs> before he, yeah, I understand. Oh, I get it. I get it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> I got to say, a long talk with that boy. There you go. Uh, and, and give him a poke in the eye for me, too, He's won't you? good music. We will have a poke in the eye. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. We have been so busy. I mean, we've been running wide open. Uh, we've been in the studio doing a lot of writing. A lot of writing, been in and out of the, in and out of the studio. So we're we're uh, we're staying with it, man. We're really working hard. Now tell me, tell me about this because you guys have been touring and you've been very busy doing it. I'm jealous because you know I kind of miss doing shows. I got to be honest with you. So, yeah. what's it been like just recently? Well, what, 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 what's funny because. People here can't make up their mind whether to be afraid or not to be afraid. So our shows have been like limited audiences because people are afraid of the coronavirus. But the new variants seems to be like a cold. It's not nearly as severe what's been happening. So I, th I think it's beginning to loosen up, loosen up some. It's going to get better. I think by this summer, I think it'll, it'll be back to normal. Yeah, what do you think? I do too. I think, and we're, we're going mean, to. We had a new agency out of Canada call us the other day and wants, wants to take us on. Uh, we're still looking at Europe. We're still looking at New Zealand. We right. don't go to New Zealand. We're still looking at you and Barbara. And, and of course, we, we want to do a tour with Jay. That's who we'd like to work with. But Jay, we love Jay. He's a great guy. You, you know something? He's actually online right now. He's watching this. So uh, give him a shout out for us, won't you? Good to see you, buddy. We really love his music. He's a great he, he, He's a great. I, I think he, does he write those all those songs he's doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a great. Great writer, and got a good voice, really good voice. He really does. So he's got good, he's a pretty good kisser too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's one step uh, further than I've got with yeah. Joe. I got to be honest with you. Joe's <laughs> online as well. Sean Simpson's joining us. Uh, Michelle Stein, uh, Steinman is watching as well. And uh, well, the list goes on and on. Uh, Rob Brunetta, nice to have you back as well. Uh, so believe me, there is a lot of people uh, that have been absolutely chomping at the bit to be able to get this interview in because we wanted to talk and we started off the show with it never rains in southern california tell me about this because really i feel that even though it is a cover you guys have made it your own yeah well, what Grant, you think about southern california was probably cut back uh, in the 30 40 it was a mid, mid 70s yeah mid 70s it was a big big hit i mean it was a monster hit albert hammond, hammond, albert hammond mm -hmm. which was given to us uh, cousins. So anyway, the uh, uh, so Gil and I listened to it, and we always loved the song, and we loved him. We, we we'd always watch everything he did. Uh, we thought he was great. Uh, and then one day we just thought about, hey, let's we need a duo. A duo has never cut. It never rains in Southern California. That, 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 that we know. That we know. And so we decided to go ahead in the studio and do it, and it came out great. Then we, we decided to put an orchestra with it, and just just get come off. We had to put it out. You know. I call, and let them know we put it out. So you know, we, 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 the minute we cut the song, we knew it was going to be really good. The way it sounded, the way it felt. So like you said earlier, Grant, we had gone to the song and made it our own. 
Oh, no, we didn't write it, but we make it our own. So, Albert, we don't have to sell it for you. We're not trying to do that. This is Albert Hammond's song. But, uh, and thank you for that song, Albert. And we had thank a lot you. of fun cutting the song. We knew it was going to be good when we cut it. Well, I got to let you know, Gail, as an engineer, and uh, not only a front of house, but a studio engineer, uh, I, I listen to music more so as an engineer than as a fan would. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. I, I break it down in its increments. Now, uh, I, I don't want to negate this because uh, I, I think this is important. Give us a shout out for your producer and also for the studio that you actually recorded this because this is a work of art. Well, uh, thank, 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 thank you, Grant. I appreciate that. We produce our own music. Uh, we usually write it, but we, uh, that one we, we always cut, uh, usually cut our own stuff. But that's not our song, but we produce our, all of our music. And I want to thank John Nichols at Hillstock Recording Studios, where we record. Uh, record. We don't record anywhere else. But we used to record a lot at Blackbird, and then we switched over to Hillstock. And we've been at Hillstock for the last, what, 10 years? Last one, not that one, maybe four or five years. Yeah, at least. So Circle Network picked our picked us up, and, and two weeks ago, they are playing our stuff on Circle Network. That's uh, in Nashville, Station 5, which is big. And, and thank you, we're kind of excited because this year we've had... Uh, we sold two. We had two million downloads on the Easy Parts Over, and two million a million on Su on Susie, and a million uh, two million downloads on Believe It or Not, uh, the Christmas song Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Rock. You know uh, is, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, we've got that many listeners listening to you, and we have one percent of those listeners go out and download your music. That would be right. about right. That's pretty yeah. awesome. That's pretty awesome. Sure is. <laughs> uh, James says hi Grant and Barbara I love you guys too well you know something we love you too James we really really do uh, and hey, at the same we want, take, we want to take the time to also say hello to all of our fans out there who love the Hammond Brothers hello to all of you and you all for uh, your support and uh, your love thank you very much yes. thank you you know, uh, I couldn't have said it better myself, actually. I really, really couldn't. Steve Baker is joining us. Hello, brother. Happy New Year to you and to everybody watching this morning. It's very, very cool to have you back. Uh, and it's so nice to be back again at work. Got to be honest with you, over the Christmas period, I was like a dog with two tails. Didn't know what to do with myself. You know what I mean? Uh, never had some time off for about seven years. So when the boss has said to me, Grant, you're not even coming close to the station, I was stuck. Literally trying to find oh. out what the heck am I going to do? It's my life. I live there, basically. And they wouldn't let me in the building. <laughs> Literally, they shut me out. So uh, nice to be back. It really, really is. Having said that, guys, and believe me, I've been playing this uh, a, a number of times on the radio, especially over the uh, the festive period. And, and I include Jingle Bells in that. We, we did include that in the Christmas show. Uh, but in the Sunday shows, we play country music, and you guys are quite prominent in that. In fact, very prominent. So we slipped in, uh, well, a new one called Fireflies into that, and, well, you know, the response was amazing. People wanted to know, A, was it the Hammer Brothers? I wouldn't answer it. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> left them hanging. They wanted to know who it was if it wasn't the Hammer Brothers, who wrote it? Who sung it? Where was it recorded? They want to know the skinny. So, guys, let's break it. Tell us the skinny behind this. Last lines. Well, like probably, we, 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 we grew up in the country, and we would chase fireflies every night as kids. Yeah. And, and we'd have cookies, chocolate chip cookies at bedtime. Well, when we was growing up, it was, a, it was a treat for Mommy to fix cookies, uh, chocolate chip cookies and iced tea. We'd make iced tea, eat chocolate chip cookies. We go outside and chase fireflies all night long. We catch we catch them and then release them the next day. It was the, or the next night. We so put them in the fruit jar and get a button enough of them. They would light up. We hold them up in the air and put that light that it'd be a light. So, so, we, so we would take it in our room and it was dark in the room. If the light blew, we'd have a backup. We had fireflies. <laughs> That's amazing. It really is. Uh, and believe me, I don't think we get them around here in New Zealand, do we? No, don't. no I don't think so. But that would be fun. Yeah. It really would be fun. What a way to bring up your childhood, really, isn't it? Absolutely. So, really, so we wrote the song Fireflies, and we used Charlie McCoy. I know you know who he is. Uh, Charlie McCoy. I yep. said, I played on that, on that song. I said, come on. And he played on the session. 
And, and when he played it, he, uh, Charlie said, Will you, that, Bill, I listen to that song. It brings me back when I was a little boy. Who? Chase the Fireflies. And Grant, who, who hadn't chased fireflies? Except in your country, they're not there, but everybody's chased fireflies. At least here in, in the States, States, yeah. In the States. Everybody loves fireflies. You know, you, you're relating. You're literally relating to your home's countrymen, literally. And, and they're responding to it. They really are, bro. They, uh, i got to let you know, uh, we've only played it about three times, and so far you're up around about 900 requests for it. Wow, that's great. But, but you know, also, also, too, about that song, uh, Grant, if you think about it, uh, we, we all look back with fond memories of yesterday, growing up with mom and dad and, and our brothers and sisters and, and being a family. Uh, people are hungry for, for that kind of life again. They, they want they want to have that family connection, and uh, families have split and divorce rates, all all this crazy stuffs happening in the world. People are hungry for it to get back, back to to where, where people are more moral and more loving and more kind. And, uh, basically, that's what we, all these countries, the whole world, needs that love, love loving your neighbor. Absolutely, and I can feel that emotion in the song. I got to be honest with you, uh, I had to listen to it a couple of times. Uh, just to get it in here, you know what I mean? And yeah. as I say to you, I don't listen to it as a fan, would I listen to it as an engineer? And I got the emotion, which wow. which Thank is you. fantastic. I love that. So we're going to release it right now. Here at Galaxy, the Hammond Brothers, Dale and Gale, are joining us live for Fireflies. I wonder if they remember this. Hi, I'm Dale. And I'm Gale. Together, Together we're the Hammond Brothers. Brothers. You're listening to Galaxy 107. Love that, bro. <laughs> I love that. And, and Grant, we get you playing Fireflies. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, That's our latest. Yeah, I, I know. And, well, I, I'm kind of the guy that if you give me something that's brand spanking new, I'm going to jump all over it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as, as, as our uh, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to introduce you to somebody that works with the Hammond Brothers. And, and she's a good like a publicist. Good. Like she does publish, some of the publicist stuff. And, and she likes to write songs too, by the way. Her name is Dr. Donica Scudo. 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 Donica Okay, okay. Actually, I was watching something about the Appalachians the other day. Some crazy people there, actually. <laughs> You've Mr. slipped. Fire there Fire. we go. Hello. Now, Donica, tell me a little bit about you. A little bit about me? Well, maybe, 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 maybe I'll, I'll make it sound good. I'm the mom of two Samoyas, and uh, I met these two guys and was down here, and they were doing their music, and we ended up just talking and creating a different version of it. And becoming friends. Great friends. And great friends. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I, 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 th I think they might be a handful though. You've got to watch them. Well, absolutely. I, I know. We're I different. Like We're definitely know. a handful. <laughs> I've, I've seen them dancing in car parks. Car parks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got the video too. Uh, Anthony, or Tony, filmed it. Hey, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Um, so, um, when we get over there and do a show together, what are we going to get up to? We've got, you know, Donica keeping an eye on us now. That's uh, rather worrying. Donica will be watching. She always, she always watches us. We should always put on the phone. Stop that. <laughs> grow up. And I said, no. We're never going to grow up. We, and she understands it, man. So she gave up. When we walked the real fireflies, she said, you guys will never grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Donica. Um, I've got a Barbara. So uh, I, I'm quite used to it, to be very honest with you. So uh, welcome to the family, Donica. Oh, well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And, and Greg, Greg, here's a hammer of sand. Never grow up. It's a trap. It is. It is. I don't want to adult today. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. I said, we're telling the guy that sticks his tongue out on here, that's a girl lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Let's go back to the desk, guys. 
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Uh, yeah, tongue, yeah, exactly. Uh, my on air producer just was having a bit of a laugh about you guys telling the guy it sticks his tongue out and nothing to grow up. Uh, she thought that's just so perfect, it really is. Nice so to have everybody here. joining us this morning. And uh, you know something? Absolutely love, love, love you guys. I really, really do. Stay in touch because uh, our next interview is with Gibson Cage coming out of Nashville as well. So we're not going too far down the road from these legends, of course, the Hammond Brothers joining us. And now we've got Donica joining us as well. And it's an absolute pleasure to have Donica on board. It really, really is. Uh, the new publicist. So we're going to get to know each other very, very well, Donica. I hope you can handle me. Well... Well, yeah, she, she's pretty much talented. Please, please, not a bad kisser. <laughs> oh, that's your big brother. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Hey, Grant, have you noticed she's not like Shelby? She's not shy. She, she likes to talk to people. She's a people person. We have a lot of people persons around us to help us with our, with our music. Not only that, but to encourage us and to keep us out there going. You know, if it wasn't for the people in the background, uh, sometimes the artists wouldn't be the artists they are. You know what I mean? We wouldn't be there, but people in the background, uh, Grant, we wouldn't be the Hammond Brothers. Who could encourage and, and stuff, and always, he, he, every artist, no matter who we are, sometimes we, we will have a, a low in our career, not selling many records, or not getting much airplay, and all of a sudden something big happens. And, we're, yeah, and you know, you know we're, Donna's going spend a lot of money on us. We're very high maintenance. <laughs> That's right, Donna. Well, yes, they are high maintenance, but you know, the songs just have something that makes people smile. Yes, you're absolutely right, and believe me, uh, our fans, I call them our audio audience, I've got to be honest with you, Donica, they respond to the Hammond Brothers like I haven't seen with a lot of artists in the past, you know what I'm saying? So they have their niche here at Galaxy, and everybody loves them, they really do, so we're like-minded right there. Well, but, uh, Grant, we can't wait to, to uh, get to go there and meet them in person. And tour. That's what we really want to do. We want to come. We want to come to New Zealand. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, I like to do it with Jay. Jay, Jay come with us. Yeah. Jay's Jay's yeah. part in. He's a great New Zealand. In India, I'd love to go to India, Grant. And you and you and Barbara go with us. That would be very. Oh, cool. yeah, we'd come. Uh, we'd course. love that. Absolutely, yeah. would love that. It really, really would. Uh, Jay is really one of those. Guys, you just gotta love him. He really is a nice guy. He, yeah. uh, and he does yeah. so well, not only as an artist in his own right, but also Lazy Jay or Lazy Indie Magazine. Uh, fantastic, fantastic magazine. Go and check it out on the internet for those of you that haven't yet. Believe me. Yep. Uh, Grant, I'll make a prediction. I want to make a prediction about Lazy Jay Magazine. That's going to be a big, big. Big, big magazine, very yeah. big. It's going to happen, but because he reaches out to to different artists, not just one genre, but everything. It's, 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 so he, and he's open minded. He loves music himself because he's an entertainer. So that, that, that's well, yeah, he understands. He understands the music business and what an artist will. And, and Grant, you and you and Barbara have been great support to the Hammond Brothers. Friendly, outgoing, loving, kind. And how much could he pay you? He paid me a lot to say that. Please, please, no, Grant, you, you, you guys are really have been a blessing to the Hammond Brothers. I want to thank, really sincerely, thank you for that. You really know, it, it is easy to work with people you're in love with. I got to be honest with you, and we are uh, literally all of our staff here love both you and Dale and you, Gail, uh, and now Donica has come on board. Uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> believe me, uh, it is going to be a pleasure to have a relationship with Donica as well. Uh, so, uh, but we are going to have to move on very, very quickly. I'm being told we've got another interview coming up within a couple of minutes. Uh, but guys, keep 
tuning that good stuff out. And the reason why I say that is, well, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have a job. Well, well thanks, Grant. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have a job. I, absolutely. There you Thank you. It goes both ways. Absolutely, and I digress. I, I really do. I must get and move on. But, guys, don't go anywhere just yet. You know what we're going to do next. And then uh, we're going to catch up with a good friend of ours, Gibson Cage, coming out of Nashville as well. See you very, very shortly. Thank you for tuning in. If you're going to watch a little later on on YouTube, you know what to do. Yep, sub, thumb, bell. Catch you soon.